Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm on the bench and I've got this unit. It's a Zanussi. It's initializing. There's a relay of clicking. I've come in just in time. Is it going to go? Zero watts. Let's leave it a bit. Have a look at it in a minute. There's no alarm on it yet. It's a Zanussi. There's the stats. Where are they? There. It's still on zero watts. It does seem to have the date correct, but the time is out. It says it's generating, which is a good sign. Zero. Let's turn up the voltage a bit. So I've got it on a, I've got a Variac into an isolation transformer into a DC um, a rectifier for DC, and then over through a smooth through a capacitor and a bleed resistor into the DC inputs of this, and the AC is just plugged straight in there. Oh, it's sucking now. I can hear it. Four hundred and eighty-seven watts. I'll turn it down a little bit. I don't want it. I don't want it getting too hot. Oh, it's gone down to zero again. Strange. So with this setup, you don't necessarily get. There are forty-six. I'll try and balance that a bit. I don't really understand. 487. What I'd like to see is what's going on. So I'd like to see how much it's generated. Press escape. Now you can see that a bit better. It's hovering around 485. Um, just tell me generating uh, information. Let's check that. That's the V total, I think, or what is it? Power total, generating grid frequency is all right. It's done 5,000 kilowatt hours. It hasn't run recently. There's a serial number. It's not connected to anything. But that just is working. That's excellent. So given that it has, well, let's switch it off and we'll have a look at the uh, stats on it. So Zanussi Solar, Zan Mini 2000, uh, 2,300 watts. That's more than I thought, I thought it was 1,000. Okay, so it's a, it's a 2,000 watt uh, machine, but it has a V startup of 60 volts DC. Now, I thought it looked a lot like a Solace. It's exactly the same shape of, of unit. And when you get inside on the board, inside here, if you see there, it says Jinlong Technologies, 2015. So it's eight years old. It has much smaller relays than the bigger solaces. So there's a big solace. Um, this is a big three phase one, but it has this lip on the end. It's the same layout and it's exactly the same label and buttons. It's probably exactly the same sticker just on the front of the little Zanussi. So Zanussi are having these made and I've tried to read about Zanussi, but there's very little of them anymore on the internet. Zanussi Solar is just a company that uses the Zanussi name and none of the parts are Zanussi uh, parts. But I'm happy. I got this uh, maybe a month ago from Ian. Ian Matthews, who has a YouTube channel as well. He was going to scrap it out, but I said, let me test it. So I've tested it now and I think this is ideal for me for running maybe two panels. I think this is a little unit that'll run two panels. It'll be underpowered at two panels. The reality is with 2000 watts, you could probably run it on, well, eight 250 volt panels, uh, eight 250 watt panels. But a lot of panels will start over 30, 30 volts. So two panels together might get this thing fired up and then it'll be running under, under everything, under all of its specifications. And if it's running under its specifications, it should last a long time. It's only eight years old. It's probably part of a system that was either just being pulled out or upgraded to a bigger system. It could be that the roof of the house that it was on wasn't big enough or something like that to take any more. It has this type of plug, which I need a, a version of. 
uh, to test but for the moment I've been just taking the cover off and putting spade connectors onto the inside or screwing them in depending on how you do it but I'm quite pleased with that that's going to be used I'm going to use that somewhere so I'm quite pleased with that it's a very simple test setup I've got a variac plugged in to my plug to here then this has a isolation transformer in it to break the link with the mains that goes into the rectifier and it has a bleed resistor and capacitor on it there then the dc comes into here and the ac plugs directly into the mains as it would if the thing was installed obviously it hasn't got the disconnect switches and all that because it's just on a test bench arrangement any questions or comments please leave them below you don't often see us an ac one i've never seen one before thanks for watching see you later